Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.NET Core and today I am going to show you how to fix that type of problem. Uh, Win32 exception and error occurred trying to start process. C drive user one their own desktop student info student information and that is the path with the working directory to the system cannot find the specified file path. And this is the unhandled exception occurred while processing the request. So if you are uh, if you are using rotativa into your application, then that type of error message uh, if you have. So uh, if you want to remove that uh, type of error and you fix that type of error, then just copy that your wkhtml2pdf.exe file into your bin debug. That is the path there that is the given bin debug uh, not uh, net 6.0 wkhtml2pdf dot exe file and you can say that uh, if you are not uh, just copy that path the you, if you are not interested to uh, copy that file directly into your application uh, into your application bin directory then just uh, add that line of code into your into your cs project file so how to open first of all just tell you how to open uh, your uh, CS project file just right click on your project file name and just open the CS project file and just copy that file path by using the item group so here we have just right click on it and just copy that um, that uh, wkstml to pdf there is the wkstml to pdf.exe and where did that exist that wkstml to pdf uh, wkstml to image.exe and wkstml to pdf.exe there is the given so here we have none update wkstml to pdf wkstml to pdf.exe is there so preserve uh, newest copy to output directory so if, uh, if everything is there everything is very well uh, if you can say that so your problem will be resolved and your problem will be fixed because your uh, wkstml.pdf. directly copied that uh, path in the bin directory so just line add this line of code into your application and resolve your problem and you can see that your uh, pdf will be generated and download directly into your application so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and just i'm a bug fixer and you can say that uh, uh, i will resolve your problem by easy steps and you can say just when we click on the payslip pdf then you will see your output will be generated easily Thank you guys for watching this video and don't forget please subscribe my channel if you want uh, become a hero in, uh, in ASP.NET Core. So thank you guys.